Hi. Um, I want to talk about getting older. Having become over the hill almost four years ago now. Um, I think I'm doing pretty well. Physically speaking, I haven't noticed a lot of differences from when I was younger. Although my weight seems to have redistributed a bit more toward my stomach perhaps, uh, than it used to be. Um, but aside from having a larger stomach than I used to have, which means a larger waistband, um, I don't feel a lot of the things that I expected to feel. I'm not a very active person lately. Um, the jobs that I have chosen this year have kept me active, but when I'm not in a job, and keeping in mind in the past 12 months that I've had four different jobs, a uh, warehouse worker at Amazon, uh, an apartment manager, uh, mail carrier, and census taker, um, all of which are very physical, uh, especially um, being a mail carrier, it's probably, it was probably the most physical, although Amazon was also very physical. Still, um, you know, they say around the age of 45 or so you start to decline physically. Your muscles atrophy more rapidly. Your bones get more porous uh, more rapidly. Um, but honestly, I, I really haven't felt a lot of the things that I thought I would be feeling at this age of 53. Almost 54. I really thought there'd be lots of aches and pains. Uh, I thought that there would be um, maybe some disability physically, um, you know, joint problems. And, and honestly, the problems that I have now are problems that I've had for a long before I was 45. Um, I look at some of my friends and, you know, they talk about this problem or that problem. And I don't have them. So I think, physically speaking, I'm pretty fortunate. Um, I don't have diabetes. At least, I hope not. <laughs> um, I don't have diverticulitis. Uh, I don't have a lot of other problems now. Um, you know, my, my big concern has, for many, many years now, been whether I'll end up with a heart problem. Because my grandfather, my uncle, and my dad have all had heart problems, and um, the only reason my dad is still around is because he had surgery that saved his life, but um, I, I would prefer to avoid the surgery. <laughs> Quite honestly, that was not a fun time, uh, the first time that dad had, had to have open heart surgery. So physically, I think I'm doing well. Things that I noticed were, well, of course, you know, I, in my 30s, I believe it was, I noticed that I was, I had a small number of gray hairs. This was in my late 30s, I believe. Uh, a very small number. Um, I, I think I had like three right around here on my chest. Um, and it stayed that way for a long time. Um, and I, even though I was in my 30s, people thought I was in my 20s. When I was in my 40s, they thought I was in my 30s. And I've always been that way. I've always had um, a youthful appearance, I guess. I don't know about now. I don't know how old I look now. But um, it seems like I remember as a kid, um, as a young teen, I always felt frustrated because the girls that were interesting, interested in me, it seemed, were generally substantially younger than I was. I mean, like, seven-year-olds. And it was like, come on! Uh... But, you know, aside from the, the increasing number of gray hair, I mean, you can, you can see I've got a few. There are some up in here and everywhere else. Although they're, they're most, you know, like I said, it started at the chest. Eventually I started to see a little fleck of gray here and there on my face and on my head. Um, and another thing is, is my son, he, he was bothered by it, so he trimmed them. But I had some very long hairs in my eyebrows that have been that way for a few years now. But, you know, the, there were a couple of them that were, they were long enough 
that they would, you know, interfere with my eyelashes. And, you know, they'd be they'd be all crazy. They'd be going up here or down there. You know, and uh, you know I just kind of, you know, just kind of brush them out of the way. And and another thing uh, that I noticed is is that I got started to get a lot of hair coming out of my nose. So you know, I have to keep it trimmed because I don't want it to look. Li- I, a lot of people look at something like that and they're like, oh. So you know, I I trim it. Uh, also, I, I don't want it to be a conduit for snot to, to roll out of my nose when my allergies are bothering me, which lately, because we've got a cat and because of al- um, other allergies, is often. Um, and then I also had hair starting to sprout out of my ears. Um, uh, yeah, those are all things that I have ex- been experiencing as I've grown older. Um I also noticed that uh, my my well my legs have my my shins uh, have always tended to have a problem with dry skin. I mean, so that doesn't really count. But I noticed my hands started to exhibit signs of that you know that old person skin you know where it's kind of rather wrinkly. Sorry, my cat was walking on the windowsill and just fell off, so it was kind of comical. Um, so yeah, so, uh, you know, I, I, on the back of my hands, I would notice that, uh, it was a little bit wrink, wrinkly in a, in a, like a micro wrinkly way, like all over, like a uniform wrinkliness or, or puckering, or, or I don't know the exact word to describe it. Um, I did ironically find that when I was delivering mail, I would always wear, uh, gloves. Um, and that was more to keep my hands clean so that I would not, uh, contaminate my food when I ate on break and lunch. Um, but I discovered that when, you know, that it seemed to help, uh, keep the hands moist, of course. But what I didn't expect was because the moisture was coming from my sweat, uh, but what it seemed to do is also to help keep my skin looking like it wasn't all puckery. But, you know, honestly, I, I, I can't physically nail down any other symptoms. Hold on. My cat is trying to get my attention. It's outside on the balcony. Let's see if it wants to come in this side. It often does this and doesn't want to come in. Come on. Come on. There's my cat. He's a cutie. He's still a kitten, but he's a big one already. Anyways. So, but you know, I know that there are other people, they have arthritis, they have rheumatitis, they have um, cataracts or uh, some other eye problems, um, digestive problems. Well, I've always had digestive problems, so uh, same thing for me. Uh, It hasn't uh, gone away and it hasn't gotten worse, so I guess it's not uh, not time for that to happen. And... um, yeah, um, so physically speaking, I'm, I think I'm doing pretty well. And he, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> That's Sherlock. Sherlock Potato Pancake. All right, so what's been hard for me is the mental change that has occurred. I mean, in some respects, uh, the last, I guess the last... You know, it's kind of hard to say because it, it, it's been hard since around uh, 2000. And yeah, I know you want to play with me, but I'm not going to play with you right now. Because <laughs> you he'll bite and scratch. And I mean, it's not too hard. He's fairly gentle, but still, I, I just, I don't enjoy it when he gets too vigorous. Um, I would say for many years now, I mean, I'm trying to think back to when my life became more stressful. And I would have to say that it probably became more stressful around two, thought, well, gosh, maybe I'll, I'll just say 2005. Uh, Cause I took a job as a teacher at an, uh, an elementary school in Indonesia. And um, that was uh, really Really different from being a lang. Ow, 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 ow. Don't don't use your nails. Uh, that was really different from being a language course teacher. Um, it was very stressful. There was also 
the office politics that was going on. There was a, um, the principal was trying to uh, undermine uh, one of the owners um, and was, you know, causing all kinds of internal stress. Uh, and, and she also took a disliking to me uh, for some reason because um, I don't even remember anymore what the whole thing had been about. But uh, I heard that eventually, years, years later, she uh, caused almost all the teachers to mutiny and they all walked out on the owners. Um, so, yeah, good riddance for her and bad for the school that she moved to, which happened to be a school that one of our mutual co-workers was working, out and he, working at, and he left because of that principal coming there. Um, but getting back to what I'm talking about here, around, yeah, so around 2005 is when things got significantly more stressful for me, and then um, uh, I... Stayed in elementary teaching for a while, but then in 2009, I, I got out of that, back to language schools where I was being an academic coordinator, and uh, then I became a general manager, and that all went to piss because of problems with the owners. Um, the husband uh, who had hired, chosen me, he, he was uh, having problems with memory, and the wife didn't like something I said, so she was sabotaging me, and, and uh, yeah, it was, it was not fun. Uh, but things kind of led up um, before that, before I became the general manager, and then I was brought into a partnership with two other people for a, an educational business, and that went belly up because uh, some things that they did uh, and some problems with getting uh, legal permits for me as a foreigner in Indonesia. So then I was unemployed, and I discovered that because of changes in the law that were not supported by other departments of the law of the government, that although I was supposed to be able to work, I couldn't work for the larger part. And not being good at marketing myself, um, it was hard for me to find enough work to earn money routinely enough. Um, and there were things going on aside from that. And then in 2014, my wife was diagnosed with cancer. I, by that time, I was already struggling again with the depression that had bothered me in my teens and 20s. Um, and that just made it a lot worse. And she died in 2017. Came back to the U.S. and I was a mess. I had PTSD, I had depression, and um, I would say that I was messed up. You know, I had some paranoia going on because of what had happened in Indonesia after my wife, before and after my wife's death that I only knew about after my wife's death. Um, and it took a long time to get an even keel. And I, I, I still kind of struggled. Part of what you know, I'm. I like to think that I'm a really good employee, that I work hard, I try, I'm conscientious, I'm honest. Um, I, I try to do a really good job for my employer, um, but I also have problems with um, not being tolerant of lax ethics um, and uh, not ha being able to keep my mouth shut. And also I'm argumentative. If I feel there's a reason to be argumentative, and that gets me into hot water sometimes. That's not about aging, though. That's mm -hmm. just me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but, yeah, the problem is that I've noticed um, mentally I can't remember things as well as I used to be, be able to do. I mean, uh, I'm my the sound of my wife's voice is fading and has been fading from my memory for quite some time. Um, <clears throat> names of people that I should be able to remember I can't remember, which I'm sure a lot of you guys go through. Um, but there are events that I should be able to remember and I can't. That I, um, there are words, there are theories and things that I used to know very well and I could just pull them out of my head just like that. And, and now I find myself becoming frustrated because uh, I can't. 
um, bring these words and ideas and, and thing concepts that I've learned in, in, into uh, a form. I, I, I can't speak them. I can't write them. If you were to say it, then that would probably most likely trigger it and I would be able to. But like yesterday, I was writing an article um, and I, I got stuck on a word that I wanted to use. I was, uh, and, I don't, and now I can't even remember what the word was. Eventually, I figured it out after I had finished the paragraph that I wanted to use it in. I finally remembered it um, and I've forgotten it again. Um, but... I've noticed an increase in memory loss. Um, and, you know, I had a psych test done in 2018, I think it was. or It was either 2017 or 2018. And the psychologist told me that I was average for my age group uh, in terms of memory loss or in terms of memory. Um, but more and more, I, I, I notice this seems to be a bit a, a problem and a, it worries me because I know that in my mom's side of the family there's a definite trend toward uh, memory loss uh, my mom uh, has dementia her older brother her, her the second child uh, he had uh, dementia for a few years before he was finally put into a nursing home and then he just died uh, a couple months ago um, in isolation, of course. Um, and then last year, no, not last year, um, well, last year I lost another uncle, but that was because of ment um, physical problems like COPD, cancer, and, and um, other lung problems. Um, but the eldest, uh, my first uncle, uh, he also uh, died in a state of dementia, several years ago, 2008. Um, at the very end, my grandfather, my mom's father, had dementia. I believe that my mom's mother may have, but I'm not sure. My, I know my dad's mom had dementia. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm concerned about having dementia as well at some point. And I know that there are ways to combat it, you know, through good diet, which I try to eat, I try to eat right I try to avoid junk food. I try to avoid fast food. I try to eat a lot of the right kinds of foods, you know. Um, and I also know, you know, activities, different kinds of activities, and um, physical activity are all important for uh, warding off uh, mental health problems of that nature. But, And some of the positives, I um, I can't pinpoint exactly when this when I accomplished this, but I learned to have a great deal more calmness in online interactions. I used to get really worked up when somebody would troll me, and it just made it easier for the trolls, of course. Because that's what they want. They want to rile you up. They want to get you upset and and just pull you along and 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 keep you in a state. Um, but it was probably in my early forties that I finally figured out how to not be baited by trolls. Not that I am a hundred percent immune, but I, I do pretty well. Um, now I mostly just mock them and uh, try to piss them off. Um, <laughs> or I just report them if I don't see a point in, in trying. <clears throat> um, but, you know, it's... it's um, I'm a lot calmer in some ways than I used to be. Um, when I was young, a child, a, a teenager... Uh, even a, a young adult, I was bullied. And that instilled in me a lot, a lot of rage. And part of it was because, not that I was bullied that intensely, I wasn't, I can see that now, but I took it so much to heart 
I took it too personally and it became too much of a focus to the point that it distorted my perception of the real situation, which was that a very small number of people over the years bullied, bullied me, but it gave me a victim mentality, it gave me fear, it gave me rage, um, it gave me passive aggression, um, persecution complex, whatever, you know, and... Um, In my later years, I have, I think, uh, dealt pretty well with that. Now, um, I had some, when I was a young man, I had some certain relationships that really kind of triggered the rage um, in me and brought it to the forefront, uh, and that was not good. Um, and I've struggled with, with getting rid of that rage. I think I'm doing pretty well right now. Um, in the past, you know, uh, like I said, my wife died in 2017, but in the past year or two, I think I've gotten a really good handle on getting rid of the rage in me, um, and being on an even keel, um, which is especially important for my kids' sake, um, you know, because they don't, they don't deserve anything bad like that, you know, um, but, you know, it, it seems to me like I'm a lot calmer, um, uh, I feel like, you know, uh, and I, I could be wrong, but I, I feel like in ways I'm doing better, you know, like I also used to whine a lot, and this is part of the persecution and victim complex thing, um, but I used to whine a lot about my problems, and, um, I became really, really conscious of that about, uh, I don't know, a year and a half ago, talking to a good friend, a friend of mine in Milwaukee, and uh, I asked her, is this true? And she said, yeah, I didn't want to say anything, but yeah, now that you've asked, it's true. You do tend to complain a lot. And so I've been working on that. Um, I, I, I can't say that other than the the memory problems that I've really experienced a lot of other mental health issues um, that are related to aging. You know, so I just primarily have two concerns and one is heart and the other is uh, dementia. And uh, I don't want my kids to have to deal with either of those. It was very stressful for my sister and I when my mom was still in denial about her dementia. Um, and if you've never gone through it, you won't understand this probably, but it was a great relief when my mom's dementia got to the point where she would let us help her and uh, let go of control of aspects of her life that she had previously battled with us about well not battled I mean it was she was battling we were just trying to help her uh, to in, in you know verbally trying to you know give her advice and and make suggestions or whatever and she would just not have any of it she wouldn't let us help her with things she wouldn't take our advice and put her she put herself into a bad situation and we and since since she became willing to be helped it's been a lot easier for her because we've been able to straighten out a lot of stuff and, and uh, uh, consequently a lot easier for us. And, and at the nursing home she's at, um, you know, she's known as a nice old lady, um, all, except for the psychotic episodes that come from dementia. So, anyways, um, I just wanted to share that with you. Who knows, maybe in another 5, 10 years I'll do another one and say, Hey, I'm almost 64 now on Dyers. What's going on with me? And I don't remember if I ever told you about this kind of thing before. But anyway, <laughs> stop that, Sherlock. <laughs> oh my God, I'm allergic to cats and I've got a cat in my house. Am I crazy? Yes. We all are. Just in case you didn't know that everyone's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I hope this video helps you somehow. Bye.